Hey everyone, a uh, quick video here today on an AI powered audio to MIDI converter from a surprising place. We're taking a look today at Basic Pitch, a audio to MIDI converter from Spotify of all places. Um, it uses a neural network to convert audio to MIDI uh, and it's very good. And because it's a neural network, it's only getting better. So I wanted to dive in and take a look at it. Um, you can find it at basicpitch.spotify.com. So I'm in Ableton here today, but obviously you can use any DAW for this since we're just talking about MIDI. Um, what I did was I put together a quick progression in Scalar. Um, it is a A Lydian thing or A flat Lydian, A flat Lydian. Yeah. Uh, let's listen to it real quick. Okay. And in context with bass and a melody line, it goes a little something like this. Okay, so those are just the built-in sounds from Scalar, obviously. So I took the MIDI from them and ported them over to Massive, and now we have this. I just to really put the AI through its paces, um, I wanted to put a drum track in there as well. Thanks. Obviously, Scalar gave me MIDI tracks, so what I'm going to do now is convert the MIDI into audio and then see how well the AI converts that audio back to MIDI. I'm not going to play the full thing, but this is the full track that's been flattened. Okay. And just as a bit of a control factor, I had Ableton convert this to MIDI uh, via the Convert Harmony to MIDI track, and this is what it spit out. Yeah, it struggled a bit there. So generally, my finding with audio to MIDI is that it's anywhere between like 65 and 90% right. This definitely leans more towards the 65. It's interesting that I put that little swing in there for some reason. All right, let's go take that over to basic pitch and see how that does. Okay, so I've uploaded the test flattened audio to basic pitch and let's hear how it did. Not bad. Um, definitely closer and I think leaning more into the 80 percentile um, for this. What I really like about basic pitch, though, is that you have these MIDI adjustments in here where you can sort of play around with note segmentation. You can actually watch it live uh, up on that screen is if I take this down, the segmentation of notes kind of bunches up a little bit. So let's take a listen to that real quick. Same thing with the model confidence threshold, which is, uh, I guess, how the AI is listening to the track. And you have some other controls like minimum pitch or maximum pitch. So if you have a sub bass that's really screwing things up or something really high in the frequency range that you need the AI to not hear, um, you can do so there. Uh, and then the minimum note length as well. So there's a lot more control and flexibility in this than in, say, Ableton's uh, audio to MIDI converter, which is just basically you're going to get what you're going to get. Having used a lot of audio to MIDI converters, I will say that um, there's always cleanup required. It's never going to come out completely accurate. But this is pretty good. So once you've got something that you like, you just hit the download MIDI button and re-import it back into your DAW. Also, I'll kind of admit that the tinfoil hat part of me sort of wonders why Spotify is allowing us to have this. Uh, we're definitely training something on their back end uh, when we upload stuff, but I mean, half the stuff that I would do it with is going to end up on Spotify anyways, so uh, it doesn't really matter to me. So if you found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button. Um, I'm definitely focusing a lot more on AI tools and how they can help creative individuals. So if you're interested in that, um, yeah, subscribe. All right, we'll see you.